Hello, my name is Dr. Mundal, and today is Monday Morning Rant. Monday Morning Rant is a rant that I do on Monday morning where I talk about things that really just irk me, get me angry, and I try to come to some sort of conclusion at the end of the rant. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> but today's rant is going to be about the figure of the Mammy, like the Mammy character. Like, this shows up in, this showed up in TV shows showed up in movies, showed up on, on your table when you're eating pancakes, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, that's what I want to discuss today. Um, I found this article and I want to see what you guys think about it. I'll tell you my viewpoint on it when I finish reading it. But yeah, I've always had negative feelings about both images growing up the Aunt Jemima character and the Mrs. Butterworth commercial. I mean, yeah, the commercials are freaky too, so. Anyway, so I'm going to read you this article. Let's see what we got here. And I'll give you the um, the name of the uh, website. Once, did I close the door? Okay, just making sure I close the door. I'll give you the name of the website once uh, I load it up and everything, so. <clears throat> the name of the article is called Racist Claim Fail Mrs. Butterworth Award Protested as Mammy Symbol. So let's go here. All right. If I were a food service worker, I can't say I'd be thrilled to be rewarded for a job well done with a spray painted Mrs. Butterworth syrup bottle, mostly because it's stupid, not racist, as a member of the University of Missouri campus are claiming after employees there were given just that. It's, and this is what they're saying here. It's inappropriate to give our lowest paid employees an award representing being a faithful slave. This is what uh, someone named Tracy Wilson Kleekamp, who's the Director of Diversity and Outreach in MU's School of Medicine. She told the Columbia Daily Tribune this. Okay. So, for once, no ill will appears to have been truly intended. For one, Calvin Rolark, the black supervisor of food services who came up with the idea, chose Mrs. Butterworth bottle because it resembles an Oscar. That's bullshit. <laughs> Number two, Deputy Chancellor Mike Middleton told the Tribune he thought Mrs. Butterworth was white, as do most people. You can't jump the gun on all these issues, the Chancellor said. Everything is going to offend somebody. Maybe you shouldn't have done that then if you knew it was a chance you are going to offend somebody. Think about it. The thing is there are some discrepancies with the history of Mrs. Butterworth. Actress Thelma Butterfly McQueen. <laughs> what? Thelma Butterfly McQueen. That sounds like a 70s name, right? Or 60s. <laughs> okay. Actress Thelma Butterfly McQueen is said to have modeled for the Mrs. Butterworth bottle around this around the time she finished her role as a young mammy, Prissy, in Gone with the Wind. But the first television ads of the syrup icon featured her as an older white lady portrayed by Cliff Arquette as Charlie Weaver. What the fuck? So a guy played this old lady. Oh my god, this is weird. But the first television ads of the syrup icon feature her as an older white lady portrayed by Cliff Arquette as Charlie Weaver and later voice actress Mary Kay Bergman also carried on the aura of an elderly white woman as the syrup symbol we see today. If Aunt Jemima were the object in question, there would likely be no doubt about the racist undertone, but Mrs. Butterworth's mammy history is a bit more cloudy. Hmm. The University of Missouri's hospital wrote a letter defending its award choice and proceeded to state the reward will stand after workers who were not offended unanimously voted to keep it. Deborah Howenstein a doctor in the Department of Family and Community Medicine told administrators she was disappointed with the school's response. And this is, I guess this is what she said. I believe this response reflects an educational deficit on the part of our institution, she said in the email. 
Mrs. Butterworth, Aunt Jemima, and other mammy caricatures represent, for some, the servile, servile black woman, a female equivalent to Uncle Tom. For real? I think I agree with that. Elizabeth Brida, an associate professor of veterinary pathology, Pathobiology expressed a similar sentiment in a letter to the administration. I'm especially embarrassed that the administration did not see fit to use this as an opportunity to support and promote cultural sensitivity by requiring that a more appropriate token of appreciation be used to celebrate employee excellence. Huh. So despite protests, Calvin Rolark says he's not changing a thing. I'll absolutely agree to the request if I get to make some changes in their departments because I'm offended, he said. Trust me, I know of things I can find I can find to be offended about that are much deeper than a bottle of syrup. <clears throat> so saying, what do you think about this reward choice? Is it offensive or silly? Here's my opinion. I think it's offensive for obvious reasons. Oh, you, you just made the Miss Butterworth uh, bottle, it's not supposed to symbolize sa slavery or the way Mrs. Butterworth was dressed, she's dressed like a lot of ways that they depict African female slaves back in the day with the do, I mean, not do rag, but the, you know, the rag on their head and the traditional clothing like that. Um, so, I mean, I don't see what there is to not understand about what's going on is blatant. Why would you give someone a reward, Mrs. Butterworth? Like, it doesn't look anything like any other award. I don't know what the fuck this guy is talking about. He's he's delusional. He's goofy. Um, it's stupid. Why would you make a award like that? Why? Why should we be proud of that kind of history? We shouldn't. So, oh, we didn't, we we're, not, we're not trying to represent black women from that time period and, and that, you know, sensitive uh, situation but way back when we're not trying to do that that's not what we're trying to do that's bullshit that is what you're trying to do and you're trying to pass it off like it's no big deal because the more that people pass off racism as it's no big deal the more people more the new generation starts to just kind of accept it as that's how it is and that's going backwards we're trying to go forward and not backwards so that's my take on this um not all of you may agree with it, and that's just how it is, but um, I don't like seeing a Mrs. Butterworth bottle of syrup. I don't like seeing um, Aunt Jemima uh, pancake mix. I don't like that, even though the modern-day version design of Aunt Jemima, she has her hair all done up like she's got some sort of relaxer going on in her hair. To modernize it, none of this is acceptable to me. Why do you have to do that? You don't. So it's just, it's just a way of creating more anger within the black community, more anger within the black person just on themselves, whether it's you're in the community or what, and you're a black person and you're seeing this stuff and you're going, why are you doing this? You know, just trying to keep us further down on the bottom and always, you know, stepping on our shoulders to get to the top and copying us and mimicking us and trying to be as funny as us, but not as funny as us. Okay, so that's how I feel about this. It's fucked up. And it keeps on happening. And they can't keep on trying to do a song and dance to make you feel like, oh, we didn't mean to offend you. You know, if we offended you, we're sorry. We didn't mean to offend you, but it's not offensive. It is offensive. So think about that. You know, people need to think about what they do before they do it. And they were thinking about what they were doing before they did it. They know it's offensive, and that's why they did it. You know, but they try to figure, try to figure out a way to go, oh, well, this is the re reason why we did it, because of this and that and that. And so actually it's not really that offensive. It's not racist at all. You know, that's some talking about how racism is, they're trying to make it seem subtle you know, years back, people were like, oh, it was so much worse back in our day. Well, back right now in this day, it's not so great either. <laughs> if you think about it, I'm going to have some of my tea. So, yeah, 
Thanks for joining me today for today's show, my Monday morning rant, talking about the image of the mammy in the, like Aunt Jemima and specifically the Mrs. Butterworth, uh, this award. That was just as just fucking tacky as fuck. I don't like that kind of shit and it needs to stop. So I don't support that. I don't. I don't support that. I think it's, it's just showing how, how worse it's just going to get worse and worse the way the people like way people are acting nobody takes the plight of the black person seriously because they bring up all these other issues that serve president presidents over all of this and you just think you can just say anything and do anything and just be offensive now and go oh well that's why i did that that's why i'm i'm being offensive it's not really being offensive, though. This is bad. It's bad all around. I mean, you still watch movies and you see there's still a lot of racism within there, specifically on the brown skin person. Big time. And I'm tired of it. And that's why a lot of movies let me down. So, okay, I'm going to end this rant because my phone needs to be charged. So, thanks for joining me. Thanks for subscribing. Oh God, I'm still kind of hyped from this. I want to know what you think about this. So leave it in the comment section below. Uh, thanks for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for the likes and shares. And leave your comments down below. And I will see you soon. Brightest blessings to you all.